Good morning, it is Saturday, and yes, this is an occasional vlog. I know we've not done one for a while. It's super busy at work, and uh, with the Florida vlogs going up, I've just not had time to edit anything. So much so, that I've actually got a zoo video in the bag ready to edit, so at some point that should go live, maybe before this video, which means me telling you now is kind of pointless, but there we go. Anyway, what's been going on? Uh, yeah, busy with work, not been doing much at the weekends. But this weekend, I decided, let's do something. And by something, I mean fix something on my car. We'll get to that in a bit. Uh, other things I'm going to do today, I'm going to cook some cocky eater pibble pulled pork, which we have a jarred sauce of this for this now. I, I did attempt to do a weekly vlog the other week, so I've gone through some of this in that attempt, but since I didn't put it online, it doesn't really work, does it? But yeah, uh, Tesco and I have started doing pibble paste in a jar like this. Uh, I have to normally get it on Amazon, imported from Mexico, a chiote pest, similar sort of stuff. People from Mexico are probably going, it's not the same, but uh, yeah, anyway. Uh, basically, pork pibil is something I really yeah. like. I often have it when we go to uh, town and when we go to, there's a place called Lucha Libre that does really good pibil pork. Uh, there's another place called Savina, which I think is... It was, like a, it was a restaurant sort of out of town and it's moved into town, it's gone a bit more street foodie. Uh, which is a pity because they used to do the best pibble pulled pork and, I, uh, pibble pork and I don't know if they still do that. But anyway, that's enough about pork. I'm going to cook that later. We'll see how it turns out. It's not something I've done too often and it never turns out amazingly. In my opinion, I'm my own worst critic with food. But there we go. Uh, so what am I going to do today other than that? Um, well, there's this. <laughs> So I bought a Kia Soul, mm, coming up for two years ago now, and when I bought it, I didn't notice that the wing mirror was cracked. It was repaired, badly, but cracked. So I've been on the lookout for a replacement wing mirror piece there. Uh, Kia charged me, sorry, wanted to charge me 90 odd pounds for this, just for this, this little indicator piece here. There are other problems with this wing mirror, I'll show you in better light, one second. This is prime wing mirror vlogging this. I thought I'd say that. I'm going to put it on the kitchen counter here, which is an absolute mess. I'll have to apologise. Uh, but here we go. Right, see here? It's cracked. Also, if I flip it over, someone has done the worst paint job on it though. So, this turned up. I paid £79 for this entire unit. I've just checked it. It works perfectly. It's heated, it's a power motor as well, actually I didn't check the power motor. Oops, I probably should go back and check that before I try and install it. Because I'm basically going to put this on my car, but obviously there's a slight difference in the shade of black that it's painted. <laughs> this is kind of more the red shade, which is a bit odd because my car's red, but that's the wing mirror off my car. But one thing that I can say, other than a tiny little scuff there, this housing is perfect. I hope it's perfect on the inside and whoever fixed that didn't break the clips. So what I'm going to do is unclip this housing, put it on this wing mirror, hey presto, one full working clean wing mirror. It will be clean when I finish, that one's filthy isn't it? Sometime later and very sweaty, I have one full working wing mirror. There is a slight caveat and it was something I absolutely expected. A lot of the clips in this fascia broke, even though I was using spudges. They're just really fragile, uh, but uh, it took me a good amount of effort to get the cover back on, so there's still definitely enough clips on there to hold it on. Plus, I've kept the clips, and if it comes to it, I can either epoxy them back onto this unit, or apparently you can get this whole section here new as well. I made an even bigger mess of the red one, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> but I don't need the red one, I needed the black one, and the black one is on there. It does need a nice clean though, so we're going to do that later as well, and then we're going to have a nice clean car with two working non-broken, non-cracked indicators. I'm now being super careful not to drop it, because <laughs> that would be something I would do. Uh, in case you have a Kia Soul and you're curious as to how to get the wing mirror off, because you never know, you might be. It just clipped off at the back here, this bit. All these clips. But you can see here, I used the spudger in the wrong part and managed to split the plastic the whole way along. But what I might try and do is repair this one and then respray it because I'd like to have a go, just purely because I'd like to have a go at finishing respraying and touch up and stuff like that and this sounds like to me a perfect opportunity to learn and I love learning stuff so there we go um, yeah that goes on there like that I need to put quite a lot of pieces back into this old wing mirror 
car looks very old without a wing mirror. <laughs> you just bolt it into place, it's very simple. I might give that a clean actually while I've got it off. One new wing mirror fitted. I should have shown you the before while it was on the car really, I didn't think of that. I do still need to put the housing on here, look that's here. And it's just clip on so that's like, relatively straightforward. And there we go, the power motor. I can't show you the heater because I can't show you heat. <laughs> And there we go with the adjuster. I suppose the most important thing I should check is the indicator. Perfect. What is this? I'm using a tripod in the kitchen because normally when I do cooking stuff, I try and hold the camera like this and cook like this. And it just doesn't work. So I thought, hey, we've got a tripod, so let's use it. Um, Sorry, I just saw a cat in the garden. I'm very easily distracted, aren't I? Uh, yeah, anyway, what was I gonna say? Um, I feel weird. <laughs> I'm gonna do slow cooked pulled pork. There isn't a recipe for this because I'm making it up as I go along, which is often what I do with these things. But the first thing I need to do is get a pork shoulder that I just went in the fridge for and then remembered it was next to me. And then the battery on the camera ran out, but that's another story. Um, this is distracto vlog. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm going to take the skin off this, which I'm not going to film because, ew, uh, I hate doing it myself. Uh, and I'm going to slank it in the slow cooker, and then from there, we're going to make it up as we go along. And I've just realised the slow cooker's in that cupboard, so the tripod's in the well. I just dropped the lid from the slow cooker. <laughs> Are you going to stop rolling? See the problem with our kitchen is I don't have like a bit here where I can go and now I'm doing this and now I'm doing that. Everything's here and this doesn't make for a great vlog. <laughs> Which is fine because I don't make for a good chef. I'm a bit confused with this one because when I do it with the Atioti paste, the proper way to do it, uh, it's a paste that you have to then break down and mix in with some, some orange juice and lem lemon juice? Lemon juice? Lemon juice. Depends on the recipe, I've seen lemon and lime I think. Um, so then you get like a watery substance which you're supposed to slow cook in. Um, this is paste, that, that it's different and it looks quite thick so I'm thinking I'm going to have to, I probably should have marinated this last night for one, but I'm going to have to rub it all over my pork. So it's wrong. And, and then I am going to leave it slow cooking but I might put some water in there just to get it started as well. The pork when it cooks, slow cooks will just drop loads of water and you take the skin off so that you don't get loads of fat as well. Wow. I've chopped my own head off with the camera. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to carry on, I don't care. Uh, the pork is in, there's a lot of That was actually really easy to sort out. Usually it takes pages. So I'm going to add some of this. It doesn't tell me how much to add, but is that some instruction? Ooh. Oh, it's nutritional information. I'm going to have a look anyway, see there's instructions on the back. There is. This is genius. Pork to build, preparation 10 times plus marinade, 10 minutes plus marinade. I didn't marinate. Um, so I need one jar, one, <laughs> just one jar, one jar of um, Tesco Pibill paste. Handily, I've got one of those. Um, one boneless pork shoulder, approximately two kilograms. Close enough. Um, one jar of paste, well, we've done that. Flour tortillas, we've got that. Sour cream, don't care about that. Guacamole, don't care about that. Gemma likes guacamole. Take one pork shoulder, remove the skin and excess fat. We've already done that. It's almost like I've done this before. Rub the pibil paste onto the shoulder, cover in cling film and leave to marinate and refrigerate overnight. No, we'll move on with that. pre it onto fan, we're not doing that. Um, but, but, okay, so it just says use what? Sling it in. Happy days. Very easy. In we go. I'm, I'm interested to see how this compares to using the proper Archioti paste because it doesn't smell a huge amount of like Archioti paste. Well, there is actually a bit of a kick of it now. It's got a really nice, rich, uh, spicy smell to it. There is actually in uh, ingredients on here, so I could probably now have a go at making my own Archioti type mix, maybe. But uh, you can buy it on Amazon. The one I normally buy, you can get on Amazon imported from Mexico. Uh, and you can get enough to make like 
well, I use about half in a whole full pot, but I am going to try more in future because it wasn't quite spicy enough. Um, but you get three boxes for like eight quid or something, so that's like six meals at normal. Yes, yeah, so that's not too bad. So anyway, there's my actually paste in. Oh, actually, I did say I was going to add a bit of water because I'm slow cooking, just to get it started. Why don't I use the Achiotti paste here? Give it a shit. <laughs> I promise I've got a top of a head as well. I wanted to get the food in. Um, there we go. That should do us. Slow cookers are nice and easy to use. Um, and I've said this before, I'm going to replace this slow cooker at some point. Our old slow cooker had very advanced technological feature which was a red LED there so that when you turned it on it lit up red and you knew it was turned on. This slow cooker doesn't and if you're new to our videos I might have put this on vlog last year but I did put a beef pot roast in and left it all there and came back in the afternoon. Yeah it was raw. I'm not going to add anything else to this. We did get some garlic and stuff but there's garlic in it. More water on the floor. So I'm kind of good. I think it's it's probably going to be okay, but that's how easy to look at. <laughs> right, we're upstairs. Um, I've done what I wanted to do for the day as far as fixing the car and putting dinner on. So I think I'm going to listen to a new record. So last year I bought Manson's Attack of the Grey Lantern anniversary release, which I enjoyed listening to. Uh, so I decided when it was released to get the second album, which is six. Not quite as good an album, if I'm honest, but I'm going to give it a listen anyway. Oh yeah, I think I might have mentioned in the past that I was on hold with buying Lego. Then we went to the Lego store and this was over half price. So I bought this. And bad. Oh and I bought this as well. And very bad. This is a really nice green vinyl. Sounds good as well, sounds really good and the vinyl quality is fantastic. Well done to... K-Scope Music for doing some really nice records. So I haven't just been up here all afternoon. I had quite a productive day actually, but nothing really worth vlogging. I washed the car, so that's now nice and clean. So now we have a nice new clean wing mirror and a nice new car to go with it. And then I did a little bit of gardening. Now I'm knackered. <laughs> uh, our dinner is still coming on quite well, so we're going downstairs. The dark area of the house. There we go. The light. Our dinner is still coming on quite well. It's been on all afternoon, so that should be ready. And I think I've got a video playing on here. One sec. There we go. Uh, and I'm gonna go pick Gemma up in half an hour or so. Yeah, I think half an hour or so. Uh, let's have a look at this dinner. It doesn't really look like much at the minute. And I must admit, that sauce doesn't appear to have gone very far. But I think it's quite a bit of giving that actually. I need to pull this pork at some point. Assuming I can, it seems to be quite tough still. It might need quite a lot longer. Yeah, I think it does. Interesting. Normally it's done by now. Uh, we, we, we can leave it on for a lot longer though. Uh, once I pull it as well, the sauce should then start to soak in a little bit more. So here we go. I had some soup for my dinner. I better wash that later as well. I have a sneaking suspicion that this meat was wrapped incorrectly and this wasn't pork shoulder and it was pork leg. Which means it probably won't pull. Which means we might have to do it in big chunks. Hmm. The reason I have that suspicion is that when I unwrapped it, the fat and skin on the top was cut for crackling. Well, normally with pork shoulder they don't do that in Asda. So I think that might be the wrong cut of meat. Because the idea is when you do slow cooking you use a cheap cut of meat. It's very fatty, but the fat breaks down and when the fat breaks down it's then easy to pull. I don't think pork leg is very fatty and therefore I don't think it's going to work. Might be having takeaway. Gemma's home. She is knackered. Busy day. I don't know. Ah, past 11. I'm starving. And the washing machine's finished. 
If you have a Samsung washing machine, I apologise because now you probably haven't thinking you can need to go and <laughs> check your washing. Um, uh, I don't think the pull pork's a complete loss. Good, because I'm starving. Because I did just try a piece of it and it tasted nice. The only it trouble is, it's not exactly very saucy. It's it's very liquidy. Yeah. Maybe pull someone and stick it in the oven for a bit. Mm, could do. I don't care. I'm starving. All right. Least, the Shall I just bring you the pork in? Bring yes, me the pork. Yeah. Okay. Well, the pork pulled okay, and now. I'm also shallow frying some balloon. I think I've overdone some bits, but it'll be fine. I'm also working on a sauce out of the juices from the pulled pork. This needs thickening up though. It's I'm trying to reduce it a bit before I add any cornstarch or anything because there's a lot of it. So if you are in the shop and you're tempted to do pulled pork and you're tempted to pick up a leg, basically what's happened is this meat's quite dry now. Um, it doesn't actually taste dry, but for pulling it, normally I could just do it with the one fork and this is kind of working, but I had to work really hard to get it to pull. Uh, so, yeah. Labelling error at the supermarket, unfortunately. There we go. Pork is done. Halloumi is done. And we're having pork and halloumi on wraps. And we have salad as well. Oh, I forgot about the salad. So I'll get that as well. And you got some guacamole as well? Uh, Smashing. Good morning. Ah, Oops. That was hot. Oh, well, I've just noticed the weekend vlog that, sorry, the Florida vlog that I just put up, you were wearing that jumper for the first time. And now you're wearing it again. Is I wearing it as a Dubai? Yes, when you bought it, yeah. Uh, but then you wore it in the evening oh, right. when we went for food. It's very snug. How are your hands? They're okay. <laughs> I picked the worst time to start weekly vlogging again, didn't I? Because we're not actually going to do anything today. No, it's Mother's Day. Yeah, so we're going to go and see family, which we won't be vlogging. I like how you've just got books hidden down the back of the couch, just yeah, in case. I want to mention one that I'm reading. Okay. So keep it there. I forgot to ask. What? Did you enjoy the pulled pork in the end? It was lovely. It was really nice. Good. It wasn't as nice as I normally make it, but it was quite nice. And there's lots, lots more there's left. There's loads left. So we've eaten pulled pork for crumbs. Yeah. That's about ears, I think. Yep. We'll have it for tea and probably dinner. Breakfast. Breakfast. Supper. Afternoon tea. Afternoon tea. Anyway, we're going to go and see family and we'll say hello later probably. Let's see if we can find something to do. Uh huh. <laughs> I nearly fell over. Uh, we're home. We're home. Did you have a nice afternoon? We did, yeah. We said hello to all the family, didn't we? We did. And a catch up. Mm hmm. That was nice. So, what are we doing for tea? Well, it's it's like 8 o'clock now. Pizza. pizza. <laughs> We've got like a, a fridge full of pulled pork, and you want pizza? No, we had pulled pork last night. Okay, well, we can have pulled pork tomorrow. Tomorrow is pulled pork next year. Okay, well, and then, and then you, can, you can order pizza. You naughty, naughty person. I know. Do you want a beer as well? Yeah, I need a shower as well to get rid of this greasy head. To get rid of your head? My greasy head. Alright, oh, okay. I thought you were just going to replace your greasy head with another what? greasy head. I'll be bobbling too tight as well. <laughs> you know, your oh, yeah. So your mean... bubbles being too tight. I'll have uh, the, tasty, the too tasty deal. <laughs> oh, so we're having Domino's, are we? What other pizza are we having? I thought you meant handmade pizza from handmade pizza from scratch with no ingredients yeah 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 that's what i can say here yeah. and handmade pizza from scratch okay what i'm doing right now i'm making a pizza Gemma's pizza came out really well she's done a really good job of cooking it she even managed to put it in a cardboard box there's a dominoes on it mm. there's probably loads in there <laughs> 